The market for unmanned, remote-operated aircraft, better known as drones, has grown fast in recent years. It's now estimated to be worth over $1.4 billion a year, and each new generation is getting smarter than before. New models of drones are able to navigate by themselves and can be programmed to film as they follow a beacon worn on the wrist. You wear a wristband and then the camera will follow you around for up to 20 minutes. So you can ski down a ski slope or you can be driving a, a race car or a motorcycle. There's a lot of really interesting things that, that I think we'll see in the coming year. 2016 looks to be the year virtual reality will come of age. One entertainment centre due to open in the US combines the virtual and the real in a new way. Visitors explore a real game space, but their experience is enhanced by 360 degree video and sound from virtual headsets and physical heat and water sprays. And from the virtual to the real, Dubai's Civil Defence Force is set to take delivery of 20 of these jetpacks. They're intended to replace helicopters in an emergency situation. They could be used in the oil and gas industry, even by farmers. Cities too are fast becoming smarter. From monitoring rubbish bins to tracking traffic flows, over 1.6 billion sensors are already installed in the world's cities to track the activities of residents. More than 5.5 million more will be connected each day around the world during 2016. The problem is that there's a strong focus on using people's data without the permission or the awareness of the user. And so what we find is lots of corporations that see the city as this space where they can just get all this data that is supposed to be the oil of the 21st century to then repackage it and resell it for whatever reasons that you'll never know of. New technology that could disrupt public transport is also going to be tested this coming year. Hyperloop transportation, which promises to propel passenger pods through tubes at speeds over a thousand kilometers an hour, will undergo testing on a track near Las Vegas. It's still unproven, but could, in time, change the way we travel. It's been promised before, but 2016 is expected to be the year biometric security really takes off. More and more devices and services are swapping passwords for digital readings of features such as your face shape, your fingerprint, the iris of your eye, your heartbeat or even brainwave patterns. Using fingerprint technology, owners can unlock their gun in under a second when they need it. They can even be used to lock objects like handguns and will increasingly help to protect our identities and private data as our world becomes more connected. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.